Hello everyone, my name is Ray, and today we are here to play some Tales of Berseria Part Number 6. Thank you all for joining me for today's episode. Last time we got to this, uh, where are we at? The Fikal Reich Caps. The end of the Dancing White. And now we saved at a bridge, as Velvet eloquently put it. We're gonna go inside a bridge, a ladder, and we're gonna go inside and see if there's anything we can learn. Of course there is, look at her eyes. Look at her hair, holy crap, how does that not get tangled and caught on everything? House? It's like a cape. <laughs> that smell... Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Malkianite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel! Sounds dangerous. If it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse. We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. Nope, not an option. You already told you that, Velvet. Don't be dense. That's my job. Open that up. What we got? Forging 80 gold. Baby, let's make it work. What we got? Flamestone chip. What we got? Flamestone chip. What's with the chips, man? All these daggone chips. I wonder what that would taste like. A flamestone flavored chip. Probably terrible. Life bottle. Walk outside. Instantly, we're in the city. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. I just explore everything, so... Just because I've made it much farther in the game than I am here on my own doesn't mean jack. I'm still going to search everything because I'm not going to remember what was where. I'm really not. I just tend to explore stuff. What you got to say, chump? It takes about a week for large craft to sail south to Lohres from Midgan. Is that so? They say the savior Artorius is there. I'd love to see with my own eyes, but it's too far for me to travel. A week by ship, eh? I suppose that means swimming is right out. Artorius! Ooh, the rage is real, baby. Talk to me, jump. I'm gonna be an exorcist. Me too. I want to protect my mommy and daddy. Hold up. Exorcists are warriors who protect the whole world from demons. You can't just protect your parents. Sure, you I can't. Protect everyone. No, I don't. Oh, Screw everyone. That sounds really hard. <laughs> it is, and it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah. They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. I don't like when they do voices like that for the kids. The ki the the guy was fine, but the girl with that, I would uh, be a the actor this. If she looked like she was the same age as him. If she was talking like that, consistency is my point. If she was talking like that, he should have been talking like that. And if he's talking the way that he was, she should have been able to talk the way he was talking. I don't know why they made her seem she seemed like dumb compared to him, to be honest with you, or at least slow. A real beauty, ain't she? The latest design in Garrick's. Able to sail the open seas of plenty of room for cargo. She'll carry the resources of the north to every part of the empire and bring the world's go go goods to hell of ease. This is that Russian crap, that German crap, I don't know. Whatever one it is where the W makes the V sound. Because I straight up was calling it hell of ease for a while. There are beasts in the seas beyond, beyond here. Pirates that prey on tri Oh, so pirates are beasts, you jerk. But they won't get away with it much longer. There's a special cage with their name on it. A special cage for pirates? Did I stutter? I'm pretty sure I didn't stutter. Drat it all, drat it all. Huh, that's a new one. Look at him. Why oh, you got one eye covered, bro? Are you edgy? At least the cargo's all aboard as planned. But the Abbey's really clamped down on their inspections ever since this disaster. It's a hassle, but inspections are in everyone's interest. The Abbey's rules keep things fair and equal. No, they don't. I won't talk to you. You're a soldier for the Abbey, you thuck. Eh, leave me alone. I want to talk to y'all. Y'all don't say much of interest. Y'all say some boring, like, random crap no one cares about. Yo, give me that. Mommy, you may be the only but you lying. Give me that. Where did the, where did the thing go? No. I thought there was a ladder over here. I'll find it. Give me this. I want it. I want it all. 
Yo, man, I will tell you that eventually going after these cats, spirits, these uh, kitty clumps, as the homegirl called it, get actually annoying. Uh, just a little bit. Not like, oh my god, one of these kind of thing, but it's just like, really, now I gotta do this again. And it, there seems to be a cats thing in pretty much every herb. There seems to be a cats thing in pretty much every area you go to. Towns, dungeons, all that. But uh, they get expensive, and they get expensive quick. You'll run into like three of them in a row. And we'll see on the other side. You'll run into like three of them in a row that need almost 200 of these stupid kitty clump things. And it's not so easy to do sometimes. And yeah, I saw that item. I'm going to get it. Amber Garment, take a swim. No? Okay, that's fine. You guys will probably hear me reference my sister a lot. Because her name is Amber. Uh, she's named after Tree Sap. <laughs> LOL, and uh, there's a lot of amber things in this game. Amber weapons, amber armor, amber, all just all kinds of amber. Oh, I didn't go far enough back. Okay, my bad. My bad. Open this up. Blood blade. I think I've already got one of those. That's what I'm using currently, right? Yeah, there we go. But it makes my HP go up. Physical defense goes down. Focus and HP go up. That's fine. I mean, it's kind of a trade-off because HP and whatever go up, but your defense goes down, but the defense doesn't go down by much, and HP goes up more than enough, where I think it compensates. Look at this fool over here. Y'all see him sitting on the... How'd you get up there, bro? Look at this chump. You should be an exorcist. Legit, no no talk, no talk. You, you really should. You got abilities to just climb up there in this frigid cold. You're barely dressed as it is. See, look at that little cat's thing. I see you, homie. I'm going to find you, too. I'm going to fuck. Well, I mean, I already found you, but I'm going to unlock you. I'm going to open you. What it is, There's jumps. A group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys. Poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, homie can they? Homie just took off. It's true. And yeah, he's just gone, and you can't follow him either, because when you get to a certain spot, that happens. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. We need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? I hate these exorcists. I really freaking do. Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? Literally you anyone who treats dials, anything or anyone like lady? a tool like that, any living creature, just bothers I me. I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. And of course, the Abbey is a bunch of bastards because... We will capture, interrogate, If and they could staff. simply disagree when with it, been accomplished, and they could, you know, talk it out like business. adults and civilized folk, that would be one thing. But obviously, what she was doing there, it's kind of like a threat. Putting down her weight. The Abbey sucks. And you, girl, aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgan was so cold. Hutch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Is that an invitation? Thank you for you your hear the concern. way she said that? A young woman ought to keep herself warm. If you don't mind coming to my quarters, I can warm you up. Hey, girl, talk to me. My, my. So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you. He's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. 
He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. All right. <clears throat> Dial's a demon lizard. What with this current cold snap? You should be able to kill him easily while he hibernates. Remember, he's not human anymore. He's a vicious monster, so show him no mercy. Meddling with demons is madness. Don't say I didn't warn you. I wonder what darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Duh! I found the cats. Square glasses. Yeah, no, that's gonna be the last one that y'all gonna see it. No, and no goddamn 15 kitty clumps. Fashion. So you can change her hair. This is the beginning style, and this is her hair now. Obviously, I guess over two years it makes sense that it grew that much, but that just seems like a lot to me. And then she's got the uh, outfit that she's got on now. She's got the villager clothes, and she's got that prisoner outfit. There's really no reason to have her wear this, so I'm not really sure why they gave this as an option. It just don't make no sense. This is obviously her original outfit. I've already said that from the very beginning of the game when she was 16. And uh, she's 19, I guess. So this is this is the outfit that the game... Every once in a while, the game will make references to what she's wearing. So I'm going to keep this, at least for now. Um, I still haven't gotten to any point in the game where they give her any new clothes. I'm assuming they'll give her clothes eventually. But it is what it is. It do what it do. Now let's go. Y'all can't talk. Pick it up. Give me that herb. I want that. Ravenna. I don't think I've used any herbs at all on my characters in my playthrough. I'm not really sure why. Resonance is a divine gift from the Empyrean that gives us the ability to tether the mocking. We orally stand on the front lines as a bulwark to protect the people from demons. Praetors are our superiors, but also have civil and economic duties and lead religious services. It is not a position for the faint-hearted. Alright, so you make it seem like a rank, but later on we find out that it's not, so I don't know why they wrote it that way. Spirits are drinks for grown-ups and fuel for the soul. Every place makes them in their own way, but drink when you're drunk. As the rule. <coughs> Alright, dude, talk to me, Roku Row, what to do? Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! I don't know. I talk about how she's annoying, but... Truth be told, I'm starting to actually kind of fall for Magilu, if you will. I'm actually starting to like her. I, I really couldn't stand her when I first got here. When I first got to see her in the game, but um, look, a yak. Hey, velvet. Here's a fun fact. Yeah, I'm. Yak I'm still trying to, to be among the highest quality figure out how I feel team. about her as a character. Yeah, but really? she's growing on me. She really is. Care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it. People would say, the helm of yak and storm howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Oh, he thinks she's slick. Oh, he thinks she's slick. A.K.A. Fuck him. So, it is what it is. We got some talking to do around the town. Let's uh, get these silver coins real quick over here. These fools are going to talk about something probably stupid. I don't remember. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates. Then ran off. Demon Blight? In Hell of V's? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. 
She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? Yeah, so these guys are idiots, is my point. Um, they're not really idiots. I wasn't even really paying attention to them. I muted my mic as I was talking to somebody while they were talking. So, oh, dude, this is funny. This one's a trip. If I remember Let correctly. Let this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed, if your Alpha Forces and my Gamma Forces work together, Beta Area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an Alliance Alpha Area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of E's Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their Alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. Like, my god, though, man. These kids take this stuff seriously. Oh, man, I found that way funnier than I should have the first time I listened to this crap. This cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. I hate people like her. Those who just bitch and complain, like, constantly, it gets on my nerves. By the way, Rokuro's here now. Uh, we can change his stuff to, uh, he's got, okay, he doesn't have his other one yet. He's got the, the style and the hat style, that's fine, you know, just so you can see, uh, underneath his face. That's fine, but I'm not gonna do that because his hat style looks really stupid. Actually, most of the hat styles in this game look really stupid. I'm really sure why. Um, it wasn't too long past this when I first looked at his outfits, so he's gonna get his jacket thing soon. Bas basically, he's got an outfit where he doesn't have his jacket on, that's it. Can't go in there. Go upstairs. Find me a this. Go in here. Find me a this. Find me a this. Find me a this. Go out. And no, I'm not saying I'm gonna find this for Mia. I don't know who Mia is. I don't know any Mias. Actually, I might. Well, I thought she said woman. Cold out there, isn't it? Sleep. They all cost a hundred too. Pretty good. Ladies. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. What the hell kind of cutscene was that nonsense? There he goes. That's how he got it. Okay. Yeah, he's just got it without his jacket. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but we'll give it to him. Why not? We'll give it to him. Why not? And he'll like it. I'm going to give it to you. And you'll adore it. And you'll love it. And you'll hug it. And you'll call it Kitty Clubs. We have to leave this town now. We can't go out to the Frizzunt because the Frizzunt is guarded by the Gizzards. Um, you know, my nizzle. So we're going to go through the back the way that we came in. We're going to go through the back. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, a cue hall to this guy over here. You guys will get that reference here soon enough. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's talk, and then I am done. Yeah, I know that didn't rhyme, and it wasn't really. Why well, it, it rhymed, but it wasn't in rhythm. In Leave me alone. Capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too with pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Yeah, a keelhaul to these nuts. So, actually, don't do that. That sounds painful. So! The Abbey likes to keep things under control. They really do. They do what they want, and then nothing you can do about it, basically. Um, there's arguments on both sides. Some people think that it's a good thing. Some people think it's a bad thing. But, I mean, in reality, it just is what it is. And that's about it. Some shit, right. We're actually going to end this episode here. I know it's rel it's almost short, but it's over 20 minutes, so I'm good with that. Because there's some stuff that's going to happen here in a little bit, and I'm not sure I'm going to have a good spot to end it past this for another 10 plus minutes so thank you all for watching as always my name is ray and i will see you all tomorrow for part number seven of tales of berseria but until then goodbye everybody